Alright, hello everybody. We are back with a different game. Uh, we are playing E7 again. And we just beat the... Let's do this! We just beat the dragon. But like, that's all well and good. But like, um... They've been very unhelpful. I'll just put it that way. They've been very, very unhelpful. Let me at it. All right. I'm just not sure what to do with that. And also, is this... Oh no, there's a treasure chest here. Yeah, of course they're gonna hide things. Like that. Let's see here. I'm trying to get things going here. There we go. There we go. Alright, okay. So there was like a big old monster over here, but I don't see him now. I guess there's no way for us to go back except by teleporting? That seems bizarre to me. <sighs> okay, well, back to Sigrun Village, I guess. We have so much money. <laughs> I like having Dogi be our. Uh... Oh, that's good. And we have plenty of stuff. Well, I wouldn't say plenty. We have like only 22 fossilized twigs. And I'm not really using any of these guys. You know? Didn't we get him a new thing a minute ago? And we need all these stones for these things. It's not even that big of a defense upgrade. It's like, meh, whatever. Moonstones, as if... yeah, whatever. Varl Incense. Um... I mean, I guess I could... They both want Wither Hardwood. I guess I can make both, so what the heck, right? I mean, we have so much money. <laughs> it's not even funny. I guess we'll call it there. Everyone's such a downer. Nothing can cure it. Oh, there's a person in there. She has a name, too. Full on name Sarah Stewart. <laughs> Man, this makes a lot more sense once you develop germ theory, I tell you what. And we got a quest last time that we had to find all the friggin' pickard, pickards. But I guess we'll have a little story here. No, no, come on! Thank you. 
Well, then obviously we save her, right? There we go. That's how it all operates. they cut away there? If it worked, why did they cut away? Oh, she's up and walking around. That's, that's pretty significant. So we're switching party members all of a sudden? I didn't expect this! Welcome to the team. <laughs> Does she use the same equipment as him or what? Position? What? We're introduced. Am I? Am I missing something? Or did, has it been too long since I played this?
So, is she equipped? Like, do we have to go buy stuff for her again? I guess let's find out. She has the same weapon type. the Ashera. But she's got the same uh, bangle as everybody else. Or armor or whatever. And I guess I could upgrade to the violet gold bangle. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it would take 30 firestones, of which I have 44. Seven, seven points, you know? I guess, I guess she takes his armor and weapon. That's not so bad. Um... some bits. Do. We never did figure this one out, huh? Oh, and it's grayed out! Look at that! We must have missed it! Like, actually missed it! Huh. Interesting. I wonder if we can try taking out Milliardu now. Oops, oops. 
Bosses. some items here. damage to the tail yet. He's speeding up a bit.
down! What in the world? over and turns dark. Ooh, but he dropped something. What do we got? Okay, Geist gets a new power. <laughs> Fairy Annihilation. You just got one, <laughs> don't you? To kill you at all. Well, that was not so bad. Uh, finding pickards. The worst part is that we know... Oh, I know we saw a bunch of pickards on the way here, too. So there was a Pickard in the cave, right? I'm pretty sure of that. Yeah, right here. There should be a Pickard. Here. One down. Do your thing, girl. Why did I do that? Oh! That's awesome! Okay, so... These are the fairies that were helping him in E6. And they just work for him for a few seconds when he does that. That's pretty cool. Of course, it would have been better if I hadn't pushed the wrong freaking button, but... Also, I can't use a map. There we go. Um... Where were there other ones? There was one over here, wasn't there?
Whoa, that does hurt. Why isn't it hurt that much for this point, huh? It comes out a little faster than you would expect. Actually help you collect stuff. Every time, every oh my god, they should have told me that because that's horrible. Here, have a picker. How many are we looking for? Seven of them. Hold on, we're gonna go teleport and get you another one. Unbelievable. I'm not gonna teleport immediately though because I want to try and uh... There should be another... Gaining much experience from these guys.
Giving us that much experience at this point. Seal the open. Um. Oh, we can't go this way still? Ah. I was hoping for a save point.
Yep, okay, this is where we were. She can cut down grass with a hammer? Yeah. She's more talented than I thought. There he is. Or she? This game is now gather about gathering large edible rodents. How did they get this far away? There was one right here. Oh, was there another one over here? I should have written down where I saw them when I saw them. Ah. <sighs> As therapeutic as it is to waste time killing these enemies, I'm on a picker hunt. Okay, what's this? Breathe underwater. I mean, there's no pickers here. I <laughs> just punches like a boxer. Uh huh. I need special boots.
Ah, there's another one here. I kind of, I kind of guessed, you know. How is it that a six or seven person party can only carry one picker at a time? All right, four down. Three still missing. Was there one in here? I know there's gotta be a freaking picker around here, right? There just has to be. It's supposed to be like catastrophic damage, but our defense is so high at this point, our hit points are so plentiful that we're like, eh, it's fine. I feel like there has to be a picker in every dungeon. Huh? There's 
some incense. No pickers, though. Towns generally. There might be one here.
It feels strange when one damage knocks someone down. Someone who has 1700 hit points. I feel like there's gotta be a picker around here. Oh, maybe not. That's too bad. I don't think they're gonna be in the spirit world. Well, that just seems un unbelievable to me. Okay, there just aren't any in here. Alright, fine. <sighs> well, let's go to this good village and see what's up. This just gets us out, doesn't it? Not oh, a picker around here, is there? Out of the way! All right. I need a picker detector. Yep. Show reverence to the dragons. Firestone. There's a shop here somewhere that I needed to, like, make stuff at. Maybe here? I guess so. Was it this stuff?
<clears throat> what? Yeah. Yeah. Why is there a tutorial at this stage of the game then? We kind of already know how that works, just by implication. We've got three dragons. Thank God for the way this game is set up. Adel explains what happened with the dragon sanctums. None of them would tell us any. We're like, hey, we have a question for you. And they're like, fight me. And it's like, okay, will you answer the question then? Just awful. Just now. Well, it sounds like we've got a job to do, huh? Just gonna jam that circle button. characters will attack anything until, until you, uh, something. But then they, then they just go crazy. that before. Nope. Grab the water. Guys. I don't know.
glass out. The thing is gone. Now there's a treasure chest here. What? That's bizarre. This is where we just came from, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is... okay. It's over here. And I was just here, wasn't I? Yeah, but now I need to go east instead of south. Unusual. Usually there was a... well, in general we've seen pickards in places where there have been many bosses. Pickard poor, poor.
Here's the Shrine of Origins. There's one. there's something else worth noting, but this is just a wooden treasure chest, so whatever. Also, I know we have over 400,000 coins again, or gold, or whatever the currency is. <laughs> Someplace where we haven't seen before, seen them, I have to go later. Is this purple mist is really bad, actually. Well, I think we will call it here for now. And, uh, yeah, this has been E7. Um, next time we'll find out what's going on in Altogo City, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.